Hey everybody, how you doing? What's going on? Cheers, 17! <laughs> I'm gonna review a beer right now. Oh my gosh, 3 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the a.m. Everybody else is sleeping and I'm making all kinds of noise. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. So we're going to review this beer right now. It's by my, one of my local breweries just down the road from me, or over actually over in Halifax. But there's two of them. There's two of them. One down the road from me as well. It's from the Propeller Brewery. Propeller. It says right on the label, Propeller Brewery, right there. It's called Wind Swill Wheat. And it's called Sausage Fest. Sausage Fest. Wow, what kind of beer is this, by the way? By the way, official beer of the Sausage Fest 2015 Halifax. Get Tubula. Get 650 mil, and it's uh, 20 IBUs and 5.5 percent alcohol by Valium. Volume, volume, Valium. All right, let's uh, have a quick read here. I have a quick read here. This American pale wheat beer is a brew that's mild and approachable. Yet has a lot of personality. Ample additions of Cascade hops bring flowery, citrusy, and spice notes, while the wheat added pro added provides a silky smooth finish. John Elm Brewing Company, Halifax, Nova Scotia. Pour. Let's give it a pour and let's give it a review right here on Jake and Dar. See what we got here. I just picked this up on Friday. Just yesterday, well, about two, about a day and a half ago. So there's the beer. Let's put it over here on the side. It's the Propeller Brewery. There it is. Look. Wow. Very filtered. Very clear. You can see right through that baby. Very nice. Very pale. Not much of a head on it. Not much of a head on it, but eh, well, nothing for a head really. <laughs> what the heck, eh? What the heck? Doesn't mean it's bad. Doesn't mean there's anything bad about not getting no big head on it. Uh, oh well. Let's go ahead and give it a sniff. Hmm. Not much of aroma. Very. I, mean, I should never pour the glass. I should never pour a lot into this glass. So I could try to get some aroma going here. Not much of an aroma at all, kind of like a Bavarian wheat, like a Bavarian wheat aroma. That's it, very mild, very mild. Whoops, I'm pouring it on the keyboard here. Any got any, anybody got any paper doll? That's okay, I'll look it up. All right, let's give it a taste. Cheers to 17, everyone. Hmm. Well, kind of a, kind of hits me as a typical sort of wheat, a wheat ale. Hmm. It's got that real European thing going on, you know, like like European lager type thing going on, where it's crisp. It's got that crisp sort of um, taste to it. I don't know. Is this is this a is it a Bavarian wheat? That's the that's that's what I'm getting out of it, like a Bavarian, like a Bavarian. Well, I don't know. Uh, it's not bad. Not much to say about it, really. It's kind of a, you know, to Jake's opinion, it's kind of sort of a typical European Bavarian style wheat ale. It's very mild on the hops, very mild, kind of mild on the malt. Not a lot of malt either. 
kind of very a very sort of a cr clean, refreshing, crisp kind of beer. Um, it's not bad, not bad at all. Not really my, not really the type of, not really the sort of uh, style of beer that I I prefer that I lean towards. But with that being said, it's not bad at all. It's kind of, you know, it's right in line with where it should be, I guess. Um, so, in you know, in regards to that, you know, I'll go uh, a three and a half out of five. That's my opinion. Um, I don't find it amazing, but it's still drinkable and not bad at all. Right on. Cheers, everybody. 17, keep your mugs full. We'll see you soon. Good night, good night, good night.